set this object off. It's a lot easier just to get these out of your way. Cars are about 44 pounds. Per 
pressure. These trucks here are about 100 pounds. Well, some do 110. slippery when it goes in, but once it dries up, it glues it pretty good. you put the board underneath it and once you put the board underneath the, the inside one then you can try to seal this bead up you try to put a strap around it and squeeze it and that eliminates putting air inside the bead and, and um, the old ways to put um, any kind of lighter fluid in there starter fluid and then they ignite it by throwing a match in there and then it explodes inside and seals the bead and then you're airing the tire up and you can see how that sort of works in those methods. But everybody else is in long lines and tire shops and they're putting their spares on the ground. But this is how you get on the road real quick. Finding where it's at, pull it out, plug it. And you can go anywhere, even on an off ramp and do this. The first couple of rolls, and you got 34,000 pounds pushing on this. And when you do, you want to push it in. Uh, many push and flatten this way, and you have strings all the way down. And then that eventually pulls the whole plug out and walks it out. And you want to make sure you trim all that out. And it's almost like cutting string. like kite string. That's pretty good. 
good for 50 pounds. The more you take time, you can see the more effort. You don't have to tend to it. Because you got 18 tires, you got so many more to go. through a lot of hail. Uh, you can see that video I got. It looks like I'll get this one all set up. You can probably just see me. I still have my little mask here. Hope you like my video on that. And my 5G blocker. Gotta have those braces. to the trailer and well, at least you can see why I like these mud flaps how they're laid out like this it really works out really nice because you can uh, put your snow chains on or work on your tires or anything with these mud flaps you can swing right up like this I just put it back uh, this one I had a problem with hang out a little bit more. Thousand miles I did on this. Uh, about three thousand 
700 miles I did this round. But going to Council Bluffs, that's when I pulled this out. I went all the way to Utah and back. But it just wears it right down flat with the rest of the tire. And you can see where just uh, if you cut it right and trim it around, it'll flatten and have it a nice little wear mark. It'll stay like that. That's pretty well guaranteed to the life of this tire. It's, it's even on a recap. But that's impressive. All you have to do is put a lot of rubber cement on it. And it'll glue it pretty good. But that looks really nice because um, it's on the edge right here. And I was thinking there's some problems that so trimmed it. But anything else, it'd be just the strings hanging off of it. Pretty well wears down with the road. You want to cut it off first so it doesn't pull on anything and take it off. But going through everything, everything even the gravel and dirt, you can see these plugs work out pretty good. And that way you can see these tires. These tires are brand new. And that way I can put all the miles on it.